Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This uh, video channel is at uh, smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam. MAS1, that's Casual to Actual Society exam on Modern Actuarial Statistics, Part 1, or 1. Um, you are given the following information about the series system. There are three components, component 1, component 2, and component 3. The lifetimes of component 1 and component 2 are each distributed uniformly on the interval from 0 to 6. The lifetime of component 3 is distributed uniformly on the interval from 0 to 12. The component lifetimes are independent. U of AB is defined as uniform distribution between A and B. Calculate the expected system lifetime. And here's the solution. Let us write X1 for the random lifetime of, of component 1, X2 for the random lifetime of component 2, and X3 for the random lifetime of component 3. Let uh, Y equal to the minimum of X1, X2, X3 then y is the random future lifetime of this series system. We are looking for the expected value of y. Note that all of the variables considered are non-negative with probability 1. The survival function of x1 is 1 minus x over 6 for x between 0 and 6. It's a linear function starting at 1 at the value of 0 and with a value of 0 at x equal to 6. Similarly, s sub x2 of x is 1 minus x over 6 for x between 0 and 6 and 0 otherwise because it's the same uh, distribution of s x1. And s sub x3 of x is 1 minus x over 12 for x between 0 and 12 and 0 otherwise. Also, s sub y of y is the probability that y is more than y which is the probability that x1 is more than y times the probability that x2 is more than y times the probability of x3 is more than y because uh, the condition that minimum of x1, x2, x3 be is more than y is equivalent to all three variables x1, x2, and x3 each being more than y. We have therefore s sub y of y equal to 1 minus y over 6 squared times 1 minus y over 12 for x be, uh, for y between 0 and 6. Now you may wonder what happens for those values between 6 and 12 for which the mm, s sub x uh, 3 of x is positive. Well yeah it's positive but it's multiplied by 0 so it's 0. And that's equal to y minus uh, 5 y squared over 24 plus y cubed over 54 minus y to the fourth over 1,728 evaluated from 0 to 6. And now we use the survival function we calculated to find the expected value because of course the um, random variable y is non-negative with probability 1 so the expected value of y is the integral from 0 to 6 of its survival function. Beyond 6 the survival function is 0 that's why we don't really um, need to do anything beyond 6. Um, so that's the integral from 0 to 6 of 1 minus y over 6 squared times 1 minus y over 12 dy. And that's the integral from 0 to 6 of 1 minus y over 3 plus y squared over 36 times 1 minus y over 12 dy. We multiply it out, becomes the integral from 0 to 6 of 1 minus y over 12 minus y over 3 plus y squared over 36 plus y squared over 36 minus y cubed over 432. That's the integral from 0 to 6 of 1 minus 5y over 12 plus y squared over 18 minus y cubed over 432. 
that's then equal to y minus 5y squared over 24 plus y cubed over 54 minus y to the fourth over 1728 evaluated from 0 to 6 which becomes 6 minus 5 times 6 squared over 24 plus 6 cubed over 54 minus 6 to the fourth over 1728 and that's equal to 1.75 which is answer A. Uh, please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the casualty actual society. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.